Good afternoon. Um, I'm an architect uh, coming from China. Um, I met Martin back in 2009. Uh, you know, 2008 was Beijing Olympics, so it's, it was right after that. And when he was uh, um, in Beijing, you know, I showed a couple projects uh, of uh, ours, and I was. I was very small, uh, small studio. I was a young architect, so I didn't have a much uh, project to show. So I showed this model, and this model was, uh, uh, I think, um, 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 for for us as a Chinese designer, is a very critical uh, cultural issue in, in in our cities, which is how to deal the old, the neighborhood, uh, and the new. So this one you, you see uh, in, in this model picture is uh, all the traditional house in the city center of Beijing, but in in this context we built many um, bubbles. So uh, this is a rendering. This is a, this is not a real. But we we take a photo of this uh, um, old context and then in, insert some very abstract object. Uh, and then we call this Beijing 2050. Uh, so I was thinking maybe this is a, a project for the future because at that time, everyone talking about how to um, make the old city always look look like a traditional uh, uh, look. Although we're using new material, new technology, but uh, we try to make uh, fake old buildings. Um, after Martin left Beijing, and there's a uh, there's a, um, a owner of old house came to us. They, he saw this image and he said, "Let's do it. Let's make this happen." So we actually uh, built something. Um, we realized this concept uh, before 2050. Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a not a museum actually, but it's a it's a toilet. It's. Yeah, it's, a, it's a toilet, uh, but with a, with a magic, magical reflection on, 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 on its shape. It's a steel. It doesn't, nothing look like a, a traditional building. Well, actually, at the very beginning, people come to us, says, this toilet look too fancy, and uh, why don't you respect your, your tradition, respect your culture, do something look like old? But I said, there's a no space here, so we can only make a small building, um, but we can try to make it disappear into the context by using this material. So I think by, by making something new um, in this old neighborhood, um, in this case, it's, it's toilet, uh, Functional-wise, you provide what they need, what people need. It serves the community, but at, at the same time, on the mental level or spiritual level, it triggers some discussion. I think that's uh, uh, um, the culture about. I mean, if you um, only serve um, the, the the current needs, is I don't think it's that's enough. Um, this is a bigger bubble, and then later we build a, we build a museum um, in. Inner Mongolia, uh, a city called Erdos. Now a lot of people call this city ghost town because of some e economic issue. But uh, when I was there, I I would imagine uh, in Mongolia what 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 building should representing a museum should representing their culture. So I I, I didn't have an answer. So I made uh, this very abstract object landed on a desert. I think the desert was my first impression of the local landscape. And surprisingly, um, people really engaging into this landscape because we have a, this huge uh, slope, which is so different from any urban space. It's not like big plaza, not flower, trees, uh, grass. It's a, it's a very undulating, uh, playful, um, um, uh, urban space. So a lot of people uh, like to, to come here and to play. So I took this photo and then I was thinking, uh, when you think about China, think about uh, rural China, think about Mongolian, a uh, new city, you, you, you always have some uh, impression 
uh, what's the, the traditional image or, or, or visual element they had. So in this case, I thought, um, after we propose something so abstract, we don't borrow the visual element from anywhere, and uh, that's probably give a cultural, a local cultural opportunity to look forward, or, or they uh, want to look for something, uh, something new. Inside the museum, at the beginning, of course, like everyone uh, criticized in Chinese museum, there's no content, and the same thing happened here. Um, but I think at least the, 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 uh, the space is, is, is flexible. On the other side, I, I, show, I want to show this. This is a, a map of, uh, of, uh, of uh, circulation. You see this uh, in the cubic space, a lot of uh, different rooms. Uh, this is an uh, uh, IKEA shop. Uh, for, I show this because in, in many Chinese cities, this shop actually um, in a very good location. And for Chinese people, there are many people want to come. And, uh, and they see designer piece. Uh, they're cheap. Um, they have a restaurant. Uh, they, uh, they have a very good circulation. So you have to, but I don't want to go there because uh, you can never get out. Uh, you have to see everything. But for museum, it's maybe good uh, uh, functional, it's good. Um, they have a, in many shops they have this. I, I tried to search this kind of photo yesterday. I got so many and people like to rest. Uh, so, so the shop become public space, of course. Uh, functional wise, no problem. This could be the best museum. Uh, you have to see everything. But why this cannot be a museum? Why, um, uh, what, what's what people looking for when they want to go to a museum? Uh, then uh, something different than a shopping mall. Um, <clears throat> and then I, I want to show a couple museums we, we are building in China. This one, as you can see, is an island. Uh, it's in the water and surrounded by a natural, um, uh, other uh, natural island. So it's, a, it's a basically an island, uh, um, also um, a plaza, a public uh, space. So people can come here, they can approach water. I didn't, uh, this is a rendering, I didn't put uh, so many people here because uh, um, we already have so many people. So <clears throat> sometimes I think a few people is uh, better. Um, so you can, when you look at the nature, you can start to focus on yourself rather than other people. So, so here, uh, um, we want to create this uh, dialogue in between artificial and nature. And we're now building this island and then build uh, uh, the, the building. So what's in, I, I, I don't have image showing what's inside the museum, uh, but that's not, not the point anyway. So, and this showing what's, uh, in, what's in China. This, uh, uh, actually, there's uh, two images on the, on the left. It's um, uh, Manhattan, New York. On the right is one Chinese city, a new city. Actually, you, you, you find many th similar things here. It's not only urban issue, it's a cultural issue. And in China, in the past 30 years, we think westernize the city or, or modernize the city. Uh, we should uh, build the same typology as um, what's happening, um, what happened before in, in, um, in America. So in, this is a um, um, part of Beijing. Uh, in the middle, is, there's a black tower. That's our project. Uh, but surrounded, you can see uh, many um, we call forest, uh, uh, concrete forest, uh, that you can see uh, in any place. So that ur ur uh, urbanism uh, concept was not only borrowed from other place, but also is, a, is a, um, um, broken from our traditional culture because we used to have a city so much linked to the nature. Uh, so here we try to, I, I was thinking, oh, um, maybe uh, if we have to make a high rise, not a courtyard house, um, what about a ma make a building like a mountain? So I made this uh, Penzai model and uh, directly translated into um, a high rise. But a lot of people, they hate high rise, um, but uh, I, I was thinking, um, <coughs> If courtyard house, they're, they're nice, but if we only have a courtyard house for, for every family, um, we'll have to build in the ocean, uh, not enough space. And funny thing, uh, this is an artist. 
he 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 draw this uh, uh, painting theory. He built, uh, he put the contemporary Chinese architecture into um, a traditional context. Uh, in, on, the, on the far right is a, the Black Mountain, that's our building. It looked quite a fit into our um, famous painting. And this is the reality. Um, this is our neighbor, and the Black Tower was ours. And it looks so, I mean, I don't know, it's so different. And a lot of people criticize us. Um, by saying, you know, this building looked um, not respecting your neighbors. But I thought something wrong with my neighbor. Um, this, this neighbor, you can, you can find, uh, I mean, first, first of, all, of all, there's a no a cultural reference. Um, it, second, it, it, it happened everywhere. Uh, so for, 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 for us, I, I thought maybe the only solution was to look at uh, what's, what's in front of us, which is a park, which is a nature. So I was thinking maybe I can, instead of building a wall and get the best view, maybe I can build the building another way so it looked like artificial landscape fit into the park. So <clears throat> I think right now that's the, of course this is not a museum, but eventually there are more and more cultural institutions they want to move to here. Uh, not only because it's a, a city center, but also the project shows some cultural attitude. It, it's, people sometimes this, say this is a commercial space. Uh, because commercial space, they don't have a cultural uh, stance. Um, this is another, this is, uh, this is also not a museum, but also cultural building. It's an opera house we built in Harbin. Uh, we try to make a building become part of landscape. And uh, uh, you know, when, when there's no opera during the day, people can literally uh, walk around the building on the facade, and they can climb on the, to the very rooftop of the building to, uh, to look at the view. So the building is very engaging, it's very friendly, it doesn't uh, try to uh, become hero, uh, hero, it's trying to fit into the horizon. But at the same time, there's... Um, um, I would say uh, atmosphere to it. It's not just uh, um, a place to gather people. So uh, for the Harbin city, it's an industrial, post-industrial city. By having this uh, building, the, the totally changed the, the atmosphere. They have a, they have a um, opera and musicals happened. Uh, the, the, they have a 200 uh, shows every year in this theater. Um, last project I'm going to show the, our current museum uh, 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 in the States. Uh, this image was a competition winning um, we uh, proposal three years ago in Chicago. Um, so we, we, we proposed this uh, a mountain look uh, museum and the building doesn't have a um, you know, it doesn't have the, it doesn't look like an object. It's trying to blend into the, to the land. Um, by the way, this is a museum sponsored by George Lucas, the, 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 the uh, Star Wars director, and uh, she's, uh, he's giving uh, the museum as a gift to Chicago, and this was happening inside. Half of the program are educational program. And that's the final rendering, but uh, uh, we, 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 we couldn't do it uh, because there is a, there is a community uh, in Chicago. They, they sued the, the, the mayor for giving the land uh, to, to the museum uh, owner uh, because it's a, a private museum and they, they don't want this museum to happen on the waterfront. So at the same time, the two, Chica uh, two Californian cities, Los Angeles and San Francisco, they showed the welcome. Uh, so that we have to move the museum to another city. That's what happened when the democracy, I don't know, I came from China, I didn't know, so comple uh, complex. I thought democracy can make things better, but not making things disappear. Uh, so this, and then we changed the site, changed the city, we changed the building as well. So we make a, this uh, floating uh, building uh, in, um, um, in this site in, in the USC campus um, in Los Angeles. Together with other museums can make a nice museum campus. At the same time, we float the building 
to free up the, the, the landscape on the ground level, also create another park on the top. So again, in, in this building, we provide a space, we provide public uh, um, uh, um, um, urban space and the green space. And, but I, I think more than that, this is not a, um, what, what's, what's a different cultural, cultural place um, and other public, public uh, place, like a commercial place. I think um, curiosity, uh, I think a spiritual quality of a place, I think um, uh, also some attitude towards the mainstream urbanism, I think those things can make a, a, a place uh, together with what's happening, the content, I think uh, cultural building can really change uh, the human's reception for, for the cities. Thank you.